Here I'm using a pencil to scribe a line directly onto the plank, showing where I will need to notch and cut it to fit. Directly transferring these marks onto the workpiece is much faster and more accurate than trying to measure and mark. You've probably heard the expression measure twice and cut once. Well, I say try not to measure at all and you'll only have to cut once. Once you have the plank marked, you can mark your cut lines pretty easily. I'm using a coping saw to cut out a small notch to the depth needed to fit around the window. I'll then rip the plank on the table saw up to that notch and I'm good to go. If you use a table saw like I am, you'll have to account for the radius of the table saw blade. If you don't notch out a large enough section to rip to on the table saw, you might go just a little too far and leave a saw kerf mark on the plank. If you're not comfortable with using a table saw to do this, you can instead use a jigsaw, a bandsaw, or a coping saw to get it done. Since these planks are rough and not all perfectly straight and square, some minor adjustments may be required to make them fit. A little bit of sandpaper is all you need. 60 or 80 grit sandpaper will get it done quickly. Lightly set the plank in place, look at where it is jamming up at, then sand a little bit at a time until that puzzle piece snaps in place.